I got some bad news. It could have been much worse. Let's flip the camera around. Poor old Frankenstein. Almost caught on fire. Uh, had spontaneous combustion of the stupid cotton off the cottonwood trees. And I had the truck parked over there and melted all my paint from like half the way back on the driver's door. Uh, all the way back here, pretty much ruined it all, melted the side marker and part of my tail light lens. But for somehow did not hurt the tires. And the fire was all along my whole fence line from down there all the way down over here and uh just all of a sudden i got a call woke up from my sister saying hey we're out here with the hose your fence is on fire so i jump out of bed and get out here as fast as i could and moved all the vehicles and pulled that wood back with the tractor and and uh try to get everything pulled and moved back out of the way it looks like I, I gotta replace at least nine poles and at least one railroad tie. That sucks. Could have been much worse though. That just, that part really does suck. I couldn't believe that uh, all the Pankins, Frankenstein's paint and stuff melted. And I had Frankenstein, uh, I don't know if you see the tire tracks right there, in between that dirt pile and those two railroad ties my dad brought me over. Right there. So it was parked right in the middle of the fire on each side of it. <laughs> but for some reason, nothing happened to the other side at all. Only this side got all melted. And luckily, none of the uh, tires caught on fire or blew up. I mean, they look completely fine. I don't see nothing wrong with these 35s at all. Not even the paint on the rims, which is strange. And it was parked right in between the fire. Well, just wanted to share that. Be careful out there. I don't know if it was like sun reflecting off of the windshield or or what, but I know the cotton from the cottonwood is highly flammable. I mean, you light one piece of it with lighter because I'll get it blown in my garage and I'll sweep it up in a pile. And, uh, and then I'll take my lighter and hit it and it goes up like a ball of flames instantly, like poof. It's highly, highly flammable. So all it takes is a little bit of magnification when it's 90 something degrees out. And uh, boom, just had a piece of the cotton fly by my head. There's still a lot up in the trees right now too. I don't know if I can zoom in. Well, that didn't quite zoom in. That isn't, let me see. Oh wow, there we go. Let me see if I can find it. Like right there, I don't know if you can see the balls of cotton up there.